The Hills of Pennsylvania are alive with motocross fans for round three of the Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship, sanctioned by AMA Pro Racing. It's the Geico Motorcycle High Point National. Let's go racing here in Pennsylvania. Shalik Small, 2.8 seconds, he's marching away. Where did this come from? Like I said, best moto performance he's had in this series was at our last photo of our last race, but that was sixth. Now he's in the lead. Hampshire again, up the inside. Drag race between the two identical motorcycles, and Small, just enough momentum from that outside line to hold the lead. Hampshire, two laps in a row, uses that line to make passes, and now he's in the number one spot. Man, he needs business right now. This corner. There it is! Hampshire is out! He was leading this moto and gone! Up by eight seconds! We're talking about what a banner moto this was about to be for that team. Looking for a one-two. Well, they're still good at one. Shalik Swole headed to his first ever moto win. He's still six seconds up on Nichols, who is now in the number two spot. Can Shalik Swole turn his first ever moto win into his career first ever overall win? Let's go racing at high point. Swole a pretty good jump. Colt Nichols leading them on the inside. Justin Cooper powering on the outside. And I think Nichols just edges his teammate out. All right, so Justin Cooper, who had his own issues in Moto 1, fell down at one point. He's now leading here in Moto 2. Yeah, well, that was it. He, Lawrence used that line to close in a bunch on the previous lap, and now he uses it to make the pass. Justin Cooper takes the Moto win. Probably not enough for the overall. How about this? It's a rebuild year for the 250 class. We expected new names to get to the front, and we have one. It's going to be a slow, steady build. It is built to this. Jalik Swole has won his first ever professional race. Let's go racing. Adam Cincerullo leads him into the first turn and out. And Christian Craig and Chase Sexton right behind him. Gaining ground is Sexton. He is all over Cincerullo now in the crowd here at High Point begins to stir. We've got a battle for the lead on our hands, and again, it's a three-rider battle. So, two young kids showing they can get right back in it. Here it is. Fifth career moto win. Oh, 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 he me. goes down. He keeps the bike running, and he will walk it across the line. Unbelievable drama at the end, and Sinzu is going to take the most unorthodox Moto victory! Oh my goodness. Yeah, no doubt about it. So Seen Cirillo in the number nine. There he is, a green monster Kawasaki. Can he make it an overall win today? So this is going to get interesting. Seen Cirillo does a lot of work early in the races. He's so quick in the opening lap. And just like that, he's into the number one spot. Oh, please, that was really well timed right there. Unbelievable four riders in the same section right now. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. That allows Paranis to slip by. Drops in a huge charge. Is that going to be enough? Yes. He gets Sexton and Plessinger. And Plessinger just got oh, absolutely taking that down a job right there. Oh, look at Kenny. Back to the outside. He'll get a good drive. Oh, but good job by Ferrandez. He knew that was coming. Shut the door, took the line away. Way up the back turn, and the crowd are going nuts. Woo, Ferrandez, a huge drive downhill. An equally big drive for Rocks around the outside. Wheel to wheel. Who's going to exit? Would have been side by side, three or four quarters. Ferrandez locks it back down. ET3 is back. Eli Tomek, a huge charge. Side by side with his teammate, Adam Cianciarulo, for the lead here at High Point. And Tomac has the number one spot. Brad is going to try again. And Roxon is letting it in as well. Almost three wide. It is three wide into this corner. Can Roxon get the boat? This is unbelievable. I don't know if I've ever seen racing like this in the 450 class.